Hello, uh, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and <clears throat> this is uh, Personal Prophecy for Clifton. And uh, if you're just tuning in on YouTube and watching this, this is an example of a personal prophecy that you can request from my website and get the website address in the description tag. Uh, enjoy this video if you're not Clifton. And uh, certainly if you hear some things that resonate with you, uh, take them on board. Uh, so Clifton, I'm just going to uh, pray uh, for uh, the Lord to bless this and then I'll do the prophecy. So dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word for Clifton, a word to bless him and encourage him. And lift his spirits up in Jesus' name, I ask. Amen. Um, first of all, I get the sense uh, that uh, one of the reasons you requested um, this prophecy is you want a direction in a certain matter. I, I, I just sense that uh, you want uh, confirmation on one of the decisions you're making in a certain direction you're taking. Um, uh, I sense that uh, there's a true uh, maturity uh, in the Lord found when uh, you don't have to seek out confirmation of other prophetic voices uh, to confirm what the Lord has told you in your mind. I, 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 um, I sort of uh, see uh, the next year or two uh, in your life, the Holy Spirit really refining his voice uh, in your life. And um, you only uh, get a practice of discerning things by practicing. Um, uh, you know, in any sport, uh, tennis, for instance, you don't play Wimbledon until you're 18 to 20 and uh, you've hit tens of thousands of balls over the nets. You've practiced a lot and um, you only uh, get really experienced uh, by uh, in uh, getting led uh, by the Holy Spirit, by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you. And um, I sense that... Uh, the decision you want to make is the right decision. Uh, so um, just go ahead and uh, don't uh, check in future. Allow allow the Holy Spirit through a Facebook post or a song on the radio or an advertisement on TV. Allow the Holy Spirit to confirm things through you through natural media, the way that he confirms many things with me. Um, I sense uh, that the Holy Spirit uh, wants to tell you that uh, you're doing a really good job in your life. Uh, you've uh, you've uh, got a life uh, that... Uh, wants to uh, you you want to uh, walk in uh, the will of God uh, and uh, you want to uh, go uh, in the Lord's direction uh, and you want to follow the Lord but there's pressures uh, in your workplace there's pressures uh, for an income there's pressures uh, in life that are, are fleshy uh, sort of pressures that pressure you and don't give you enough time uh, to spend time with the Lord and uh, develop intimacy. And there's this sort of trade-off uh, that uh, if you had more time and you had uh, more resources, you'd spend more time and you'd spend more resources uh, seeking the Lord. And uh, I sense that uh, you're in this uh, place of wondering uh, whether you're doing a good job, is the Lord happy with me? I'm not spending enough time with him. I'm not as close to him as I think I should be. Um, am I focusing too much on my work? Am I fo focusing too much on uh, earning a living and uh, living a life and providing uh, for the people I love? 
and I, I, I sense uh, Jesus uh, just wants to say, relax. Uh, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whenever, whenever you think you've got to pray or read the Bible or go to church or go to midweek meetings or watch certain YouTube videos or read certain books or spend time in the Word, uh, all these outwardly uh, religious activities, they don't impress the Lord. I, I haven't. I personally, I haven't uh, seriously read the Bible as a practice for 12 years. Um, I spend about five to 10 minutes uh, discussing my life each night with Jesus as I go to bed. And each day I'm in communion with the Holy Spirit all day and I'm being led by the Holy Spirit, but uh, I don't attend a church. Um, I, church uh, has uh, become repetitive and boring to me. Um, I, I just haven't found a church since my last church closed down. So I don't attend church. I don't read the Bible. I don't pray like normal Christians. Um, all the um, things that tick the boxes for a good Christian life, I don't do. But I've got a very... Uh, supernatural and dynamic and really intimate relationship with God. I know him. And uh, I I would encourage you to uh, just, you know, Jesus, honestly, uh, Jesus is happy with five minutes of your time a day. Five minutes doesn't even have to read the word. You can read a devotion in the morning or whatever or read a Christian book. Um, Jesus is happy just having a conversation back and forth uh, for five minutes. And I've been teaching people uh, how to hear from God, how to hear from Jesus. And uh, if you'd uh, like me to... Uh, uh, pray for you to have the prophetic gifts and uh, be able to hear from Jesus and have two-way conversations with Jesus. Um, you can contact me on Facebook, um, and uh, or um, and I do it uh, through uh, Facebook Messenger, Facebook uh, phone, uh, and uh, I'd be encouraged. And uh, you can uh, we can do it, and then uh, you can. Uh, see what the Lord puts on your heart for a donation, but I'll even do it for free. Um, I I really uh, feel this uh, strong message uh, from the Lord uh, for you, uh, from Jesus particularly. Uh, just relax. Relax. You're doing a good job. Um, I'm happy with you. I'm impressed with you. And... Um, uh, the Holy Spirit could have uh, given me the specific decision uh, that you're making and uh, he could have led me to uh, have a word of knowledge and tell you the specific decision uh, that I, I think you're seeking. But the message from the Holy Spirit is that he wants you to learn how to discern and make decisions and be confident in his leadings and you can't get confident in his leadings unless you uh, practice uh, practice taking his direction and uh, moving in his leading um, that Jesus is impressed with your character Jesus is impressed with the compassion that you have the honesty that you have the love that you have uh, the giving that you have uh, your obedience, uh, your desire to grow close to him, uh, your pursuit of him, your spiritual hunger. There's so many, uh, I could go on and on uh, 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 with uh, the things that Jesus loves about you. Um, what I uh, personally love, it's gone over 10 minutes now, and I'll just uh, keep on speaking while the Holy Spirit uh, gives me words, but what I'm personally happy with is I, I'm really happy uh, that um, that uh, you you keep returning to me and requesting prophecies. Um, your thirty dollars uh, really helps me, and repeated um, repeated requests 
uh, really helped me. And they're spaced apart, um, which uh, which uh, means that you're not addicted to prophecy and you're not coming back to me every month. I refuse to do uh, prophecies every month for people. Um, so I encourage you, uh, write to me and um, let's connect on Facebook. If, if you can't hear Jesus speak, let's uh, get you activated in the prophetic uh, so you can hear Jesus speak. And um, be, be kind to yourself, yeah? You judge yourself too much and you're too hard on yourself. And honestly... Uh, we've all got too much religion in us. And um, uh, I went through all the parameters of a good Christian and I don't meet any of them. And yet uh, I challenge a thousand Christians to have a more dynamic uh, relationship uh, than I have. Uh, so um, it's just religion that tells us that. Um, so I pray that uh, you're encouraged by this prophecy um, and uh, and uh, that uh, I hope that you can give me feedback and uh, uh, send me an email and tell me uh, whether um, uh, you can uh, connect on Facebook. My Facebook profile uh, is in the description tag uh, under this video and uh, you can friend me on Facebook and write me a message and say, uh, that uh, you want to uh, learn how to hear back and forth with Jesus. And um, if you're listening uh, to this video and uh, and you're looking at that invitation that I've given Clifton, um, uh, take that invitation for yourself. Friend request me on Facebook and reach out to me and say that you would... Uh, like to uh, go through that process and as we spend time together it'll take a couple of sessions over about an hour each um, as we spend an hour to two hours uh, getting you comfortable talking to Jesus back and forth you just work out for yourself uh, something that uh, you want to donate uh, to my ministry for my time and uh, I'll be happy with that um, so uh God bless you, Clifton, and uh, and uh, give me some feedback and get back to me. God bless.